Hi, I'm Sam from the Wix Design Studio. In this tutorial, I'll show you how a design expert uses the Wix editor to create a one-page website with interactive hover effects. This technique is great for any website, but especially when designing a musician website or album release. So, let's dive in. First, I'll open the Wix editor and start with a blank page. I always start by saving and naming my site, so it will autosave in the future. In the editor, I'll change page background to black and change page design to no color, so it matches my background. Then, I'll add a video background. To create the animated headline, I'll first add a strip and drag it into place. To make it transparent, I'll change strip background and go to color setting to reduce the opacity and color to 0%. Under layouts, I'll add a column. Then, manage column to divide my strip into five columns. I'll resize and place it in the center of the fold. Next, I'll add text and attach it to column 1. Then, I'll choose Glide In Animation. I'll customize the distance and direction of the letter. In preview mode, you can see how the letter appears from the top left. I'll duplicate this letter and attach it to the same column, customize it, and adjust the direction of the letter. I'll do the same for all the other columns, giving each letter its own distance and direction. In preview mode, you can see the seamless way each letter appears into view. Back in the editor, I'll add text to the header and customize. Next, I'll create an animated title on Hover. To do this, I'll add another strip, change strip background, and scale it. Then, I'll add a hover box on top, adjust the size, and reduce the opacity and color to 0% and apply to hover. I'll delete the pre-made content and add an image to regular mode. Now, I'll create the same effect I used in the header by adding each letter and positioning it accordingly. Under filters, I can change the color of my image. Now, I'll select each letter and apply to hover. To make sure none of my letters are hidden behind the image, I'll select the image, right-click, select Arrange, and send to back. To make it look like my letters align on Hover, I'll go to Hover Mode, select each letter, Group Elements, and in the right toolbar, choose Align to Bottom, and reposition to the center of the image. Now in Preview Mode, you can see the letters align and the image color changes on Hover. Back in the Editor, on Hover Mode, I'll select each letter and choose Animate. In preview mode, you can see the letters move smoothly on their own. Now, I want to add a couple buttons around the album. First, I'll add a strip. Change strip background and reduce opacity and color to zero. Under layouts, I'll add a column and attach a button to the right column and customize. To make it sit on a 90 degree angle, I'll rotate it right. To number each album, I'll duplicate the text, scale it, and align it to the right. Next, I'll add a button to the left column and customize the color to transparent with a gray border and change the text to Buy Now. Just like the right column, I'll rotate it 90 degrees, reposition, and align text to the left. On the bottom, I'll add a listen button that interacts on Hover. So, I'll add a line on regular mode, apply to Hover, and adjust the position and shorten the line on Hover mode. In preview mode, you can see the line changes position and size alongside the rest of the letters. To create two more albums on this website, I'll duplicate this hover box, column, and buttons, drag it down, and customize the numbers, image, and text. On preview mode, you can see it works exactly the same as the previous album. I'll do the same for the third and last album. To create a paragraph that gradually reveals on scroll, 
I'll add a unique line of text for each sentence and apply fade in animation to each line with an increased delay. For the last fold in this website, I want to create a cool video slideshow. To do this, I'll add a box slideshow and remove all the pre-made content. I'll change the slide background to a video and reposition. To change the design of the slideshow arrows, I'll remove the current navigation arrows and buttons. Then, I'll customize the design, choose a new arrow design, and go back to layouts to show navigation arrows. Then, I'll change the color to white. To number each slide, I'll add another text button and rotate the position to 90 degrees. I'll delete the two other slides in this slideshow and duplicate slide one twice. Now, I'll adjust each slide number and video accordingly. In preview mode, you can see the video slideshow autoplays and slides on its own. To finish off the design of this video slideshow, I'll add a text button on the side that says video. To do this, I'll add a strip, reduce the opacity and color to zero, and add a column. Attached to the right column, I'll add a text button that says video and rotate it on a 90 degree angle. To make sure only the text sits in front of the video slideshow, I'll click on the strip select Arrange and Send to Back. Now I can reposition this strip and left align the text. For the footer of this website, I want to create a social news ticker. To do this, I'll click on the footer and change footer design to a solid color. Next, I'll add a slideshow. Remove all the pre-made content and change the background color to white. Under Layouts, I'll hide the navigation arrows and slideshow buttons. I'll rescale the strip and reduce the opacity and color to zero and attach it to the footer. On top, I'll add text for each social channel I want to add. I'll delete the other two slides and duplicate the slide I just created. To create a smooth transition, I'll set the time between slides to 2 seconds. I'll also turn off Stop Autoplay on Hover so that it continually plays. On Preview Mode, you can see the ticker smoothly moves across the page. Now I need to link the social ticker to each social channel. Back in the editor, I'll click on the text, select Link, choose Web Address, and add my unique URL for each channel on both slides. Lastly, I'll create a light box with Wix music so fans can listen to the album when they click on the listen button. I'll first add a light box and delete all the pre-made content. I'll change the background color and customize the exit icon. On top, I'll add the Wix music player and scale to size. Under settings, I can change the layout and hide the album cover. I'll reduce the background color to zero and change the border color to white. To match, I'll customize the colors of my text, buttons, and control bar. Under Change Overlay Background, which is what covers the rest of the page, I'll reduce the opacity and color to 80%. Under Setup Overlay, I'll turn on Clicking Closes Lightbox. Now, I'll set triggers. I'll name the lightbox and choose to not automatically display the lightbox on page. In preview mode, you can see the light box works, and I can click play to hear the album. Back in the editor, I'll link the listen button to the light box. Next, I'll go to My Menu and Pages, select Manage Pages, choose Light Box, and under Settings, duplicate my light box two more times. I'll customize the next light box then click Listen to link the light box. In preview mode, you can see the light box appears when I click on Listen. Back in the editor, 
I'll customize the final light box and link it to the last listen button. And that's it. I just created a beautiful one-page website with interactive hover effects. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun and we'll see you in the next one.